want to say a quick disclaimer. Um, I'm by no way a financial advisor, a CPA, nor am I advising anyone on their finances or what they should take their money and spend it on. I'm only here to give you what, to show you guys how I buy trade and sell and to actually um, answer any questions according to my knowledge of the cryptocurrency space as well as uh, the trading that I do. Um, I most definitely want to be an asset. I want to be able to help. And um, I'm not charging you guys nothing. So I do want you guys respect that. You know, I'm going to take some time out and uh, share some things with y'all. And um, just know if you can keep your lines muted. Actually, I'm, I'm waiting on Miss Tanisha. Okay, she's on here now. She's actually going to be um, monitoring everything. and making sure everything goes smooth, smoothly. So with that being said, said is, is what's some of the questions or challenges or issues that I hear you guys are going through? I hear you, Prince. Uh, Rachel, Hannah, you, you have something you want to say? Okay. Well, I'm going to let you guys go ahead and get your questions, get some of the issues, get your computers up. Maybe y'all want to um, log in and go through some things. But I want to show y'all a couple of things because I've been doing it. I've been trading. I've been making some money. And so I'm going to show you, actually, I'm going to share my screen. And I'm going to show you what I just got finished doing. So I just got finished, and this part is still up. It's still turning. I just bought some KBC coins on Hit BTC. I actually purchased it through here. Um, and I did it also the other day. I, I did the same thing. Um, I transferred $500 worth of uh, Bitcoin to Hit BTC to buy KBC. Um, as you can see, but um, here it go. And it's actually, let me see, the coin right now is almost two cent. So let's see. Yeah, so what I actually done was bought about 29,000 KBCs. Of course, they charged me 530 KBCs to move it. It's actually in process um, to move it straight here to my KBC. I don't have no more KBC because I've been trading. I made this much money buying and selling crypto uh, KBC. I'm going to show you an order that I have done. Um, just remember, y'all, I'm giving y'all this for free. So um, you see this order right here. It partially, uh, the status is partially sold all my coins that I had for sale. But you can see here all the transactions. I did this. I set this tra this up today. And you see it, you know, each time it's sold. But I, I want you guys to see, too, what I sold them for. I sold it for this price. Three cent. Three Point zero three two five, and so why I did I why did I do that? Well, a couple of reasons why. Because I bought the coin for way less. I bought it for um one, you know, little under here, here go one. I bought for, you know, I bought it for point zero one five. So now I doubled my money because I sold it for three zero. The point zero three two five, so I doubled my money, or automatically by just trading, just by setting the sale. So that's why when you look at my dashboard, and uh, and I'm waiting on you guys to ask answer any questions. I don't know if you guys seen the video I put up about MetaMask, how you can trade straight from MetaMask and, and uh, receive your 35% bonus. I got something tremendous. I'm going to start bringing up 
I mean, I'm going to start sharing. I'm, I'm going to start it actually. Um, if you do not have KBC wallet, you need to download that, that wallet on your phone. And I'm going to show you. Do not create a create account yet. I'm going to tell you the next step. But you need to download the app first. And then I'm going to tell you the next step. It's phenomenal. Matter of fact, I'm going to tell you before we leave this call. I got about 20 minutes because I got to be at an appointment. I'm sitting down with some, some folks. And um, so I most definitely will show you guys and uh, up all the things that the KBC Wallet app is phenomenal. Like, it's phenomenal. I'm, I'm going to suggest one thing before I uh, leave. So I see in the chat bar, what, what's going on? What's the chat? Raise your hand. Okay. Thank you, Tanisha. Thank you. Thank you. So create an account. Okay. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Thanks for timing. Yep. No problem. No problem. So with it, I need some questions, man. I, I thrive on I thrive on problems and it just give me energy because I know that when when a problem is solved, clarity is brought, the, the anxiety level of not knowing and the space between knowing gets shorter. And uh I believe you can move quicker and faster if you know, you know, what's going on. It, this is um again you guys seen my partial order. It's right here. It's still an order that's still got some more coin. But look, I sold 176,133 KBC coins for three, 0.325 cent. I showed you guys what I paid for them. You know, some of the prices of what I paid. Let me see if it's going to show up. Samsung has their hand raised whenever you're ready. You want me to unmute them? Yes, you can. Go ahead and ask Hello? Go ahead. Yes. Um, hi, Crypto Steve. I've watched and listened to a lot of your videos, and mm -hmm. there's a portion of the, uh, the final trade on Carrot Bit that I don't understand. When I go to um, add my one KBC, yes. it's all in ETH um, units. And I have a hard time. I'm not really sure how to get it out of ETH so I can make it into carrot bet so I can con continue to trade that and deposit that. Okay. So you said it's all in? The units. Like when you have a deposit that one unit of KBC to claim your 35%, I know you're not there. It's in ETH. It's not in KBC on my screen. Okay, hold on for one second. You need to know, because I'm going to do one right now for you guys. Real quick, I have a Trevor, so mine's is a little different. I, it's a hard external hard wallet. I'm going to plug it up. You guys are going to see some stuff. Um, I'm going to actually, now my Trevor, I could go another route and actually show you guys with my um kbc app my kbc wallet app i can do it that way but i'm not because i know most of you guys ain't there yet so i'm gonna stick with what you guys are familiar with for now and then i'll walk and move you guys slowly into the kbc wallet app it's going to be real quick simple and easy i mean it's it's phenomenal so i'm going to actually log in because i do have an address that i have have to actually um, claim the bonus on. So it's going to make me do some confirmation real quick on my. Now you said when you was transferring one more time, who so was your name? I'm sorry. My name is Kara. It's Kara. So Sarah. I got to the very end and I had to put in the one KBC to transfer it so I could click that box and say one KBC deposited. But mm -hmm. I could it didn't say KBC, it said ETH. So I couldn't deposit that one. 
Does that make sense? Sounds like she didn't do the contract. Yeah, though. I know. I know exactly. Yeah, you you don't have. Would you say, Tanisha? Sounds like she didn't put the contract address in. Yes. Yes. Yes, I did. Yes, I did. Okay. Well, if did you talking about right here? Let me see. Um, amount to send. No, I want my, you to see my screen. Yes, right there, right there. It, it mine this? says ETH. Did you do this? I couldn't get. K I it, the drop down bar was n never KBC. Never offered that to me. Okay, guess because your smart contract address couldn't have been there. Okay. I can show you. Let me let me show you. You see it now? You see that? Yes. Watch this. It's gone. You see that? Yes. It's gone. So how do I get it here? Mm -hmm. And you probably know. You know, and it might have, you might have put it in. I don't know if you went through the final step. I don't know if you refreshed the page. It's a lot of variables that take place sometimes. And doing this, you guys, you got to make sure you refresh the page before maybe, sometimes after. Um, let me just real quick. Let me just uh, copy this. But, um, well, no, I shouldn't be copying that. I'm going here to get the smart contract address. And so I can add it back. And I know I'm moving quick. Man, some of you guys gonna have to get back on this video and look because I, I gotta, I, in the time, let, let me share this. I'm doing this to help you guys, but you gotta remember I'm still biz, building my own business. So I'm doing it for free. So you got to bear with me. I'm moving fast because um, I have to. I got somewhere I gotta be. And so you save it. Once it's saved, it'll show up. Once it show up there, it'll show up here. You see that, Kara? Kara, okay, right? so, yeah, Yes, it is. Okay. So the smart contract goes to address. I thought the to address was the one we were sending it to. No. This right here, yeah. This to address but not here. This is a, this is a custom the problem, the, address. You see this at the bottom? You see what I've done? I went here, copied the smart contract address, pasted here, put the symbol in, KBC. Of course, you got to get that space out. You don't have to on a smart contract. Add the decimal point, seven, and hit save. It's already in. That's why it's got that on there. Okay? KBC. All right. Don't try to copy. Do not try to copy this number. Um, write this number down. Let me actually put it in the chat bar. I, I talked to a young lady, and she actually tape. Yeah, KBC, all cap letters. I hear you, Antonio. You don't have to. You can't. You don't have to. But um, that's the smart contract address. Of course, the token symbol is KBC. The decimal point is seven. You should, guys should remember that quick. Um, that's the only issue that you probably will have here. So real quick, I'm going to go quick again. So you guys seen what I've done. Now I'm, I, I have to get my address. And I told you guys don't do that, right? Uh, I wanted you to actually... And then now I'm going to claim my bonus by putting my Ethereum address in there. Do you guys know what happened when it's grayed out? You know what happens here? Can anybody tell me besides Tanisha? Why is it grayed out? Anyone? You can, uh, you can unmute yourself. You have to backspace it. That's right. That's right. Which, how do you say your name? Ramisha? Ramisha, perfect. Ramisha backspace it until you see it. That's why I share with you guys, use this technique. It's boxes always on cryptocurrency numbers because they know that if you type this in, you can type the wrong number. And once that number is wrong, listen, 
I, I want y'all to hear this, the, how the whole cryptocurrency space works. There's no central place, bank, company, website, nothing that holds access to your Ethereum address. What am I saying? Your public address, your ERC20 address, your MetaMask address, the address that your coins get deposited on. No one holds the private key or the recovery seed, the, the passphrase, the recovery words. No one holds that access but you. Now, let me tell you what happened. When you open up an account, these cryptographic numbers come together. They form your public address, your Ethereum address, your ERC20. Same thing. They form the address for your coins to get deposited on it. But also what's formulated on that is a pass key, a pass phrase, a recovery seed, or a private key, or both. And it, it is only attached to those numbers. If you lose your password, your recovery seed, your pass phrase, your uh, private key, there's no way, no one, not, nothing possible that anyone can do as of now to unlock your access to your Ethereum address to send your tokens off. Now, you can look at it all day, but to get your tokens off of that address, there's no way possible that you can make that happen. Unless, again, if you lose MetaMask, if you lose your password, you will not be able to send that off. You can actually do what you what, what I'm doing here on MetaMask, I mean, on my Ether wallet, on MetaMask. I can do everything on MetaMask. I can send one Ethereum token off on MetaMask. And I can show you guys real quick how that's done if you got a MetaMask account. I'm not going to send it, but I'm going to show you guys how it works. And this real quick and easy, simple. And this is really, like, phenomenal. But wait till you get our app. Oh, my goodness. Wait till I show y'all how our app do things. So you can actually send right here. Send. I can put in my current bid exchange address after I hit this. I can put this address in. And I can actually put that address there in this address in the here and put one and I can and because I got gas already on it showing that I don't, but I do, I can automatically send it straight from here in the click of a button. And let me show you why I know that and how I know that, and because I actually done it. I done it already. So, um, oh man, I'm clicking. So see right here, I sent one token straight out of my MetaMask on to, I mean, to current bit to claim my 30% bonus. I got a video out there to show you guys all that. So if you want to know that more, know more about that, I, I do got a video out there to show you that. So here, I take this address and I'm gonna copy this address. And because I I don't have the box here, so I have to do this, which cool. I know now if it's space in between the front, then I know that I have to back out to all the way to the beginning. Is is that sound good? That that's that's correct, isn't it? You guys get that, don't you? Somebody put their hand up. Somebody nod. I can see y'all. So nod for me. Y'all understand that, right? That's that's correct, isn't it? Okay, perfect. So what am I going to do here? I'm going to paste that address here. Because I have KBC in, I can do it. The, the young lady, Samson, I'm sorry. What's your name again? Kara. Kara, I have to that. So Kara, you know you know why I know that name? You, it was um, what's the movie Riddick? Chronics of Riddick. I, the girl was following him through that, through the moon or something. But yeah, so I take and put one token here. You see that, right? You see that, right, Kara? You see what happened? You see what I done, right? 
So, right there, yes. Yep. And so all you guys see that. Now you see my gas limit didn't change. So it's not going to let me send because I don't have enough gas. Because this got to be like 36 or 37. Let me back mm -hmm. up. So, and, I, and I'm on my, my actual Trevor, so it's a little different. But, um, and I keep getting that red button. But all these right here is green. That means when it's green, it's a go. Even though this is not enough gas, it's still a go. So once I hit this, of course, I have a Trevor. It's going to pop blocker going to come up. I got to confirm it. And then I confirm it on my hard external wallet. I'm sending one token. Yep, I'm confirming it. And so it's, it's generating. Let's see. Let's see if it go through. So I'm sending it. This is the smart contract address. It's, it's curb bars for the KBC. And uh, it's coming from my address. And it's actually going to this address that curb bars, curb bit want me to send it to. And I'm saying, sure. And it's not enough. And you see that? Interest gas too low. You see that? So it's going to let you know. So what do I do? I go up here. Being though I did enough of them, I know what is needed. Now, if you don't know, I'm giving it to you right here. At least do 37000 37000 Let me erase this. This is why I said Thirty-seven thousand. Okay, so I'm clicking generate transaction again. Pop up for my travel. It's always going to make me uh, confirm on my device. I'm confirming twice. It's actually telling me what to do. It shows up. Send right addresses, and bam, it's done. That's it. View. Uh, verify transaction. I always like doing this before I hit the send button on Curbit. Um, just to make sure. Look at that. That was quick and fast. Sent. Nine seconds. That was quick. Blockchain is moving fast today. We got some extra extra miners on the block. So now I can go here and say, hey, bam. It's done. It's done. So I, I want to go ahead and answer some questions. You know, I do, I do not have a lot of time, but I want to answer all you guys' questions real quick. Um, who is next? Who have a question? Who have some issues? Who are not sure about what's going on or what they need to do and how they need to do it? I'm waiting for that KBC to show up. There's a question in the chat box. Chat box that says, "Can I get the Ether address to send the one KBC?" That's what you typed in earlier, right? The Ether address. The Ether? Nikki, I don't, I don't understand what you mean. The Ether address. That do you Ethereum ad the Ether address? You Ethereum address. Um, what you need that to send the one token? You mean you need the Ethereum for gas? Or oh, you talking about the address that my coins are on? I, I don't understand. If you can unmute yourself, or we can find her and unmute her real quick. And let's let's get on here. I'm unmuted. Okay, so can you hear me all right? Yeah. I need the Ethereum address. I didn't get it off where it when you go to claim, I didn't get it off the the ad the Ethereum address to send your one KBC. In your my Ether wallet. You talking about here? I you can't see your screen. You can't see my screen? No. Okay, so you talking about when you op when you log in the current bit and you go to home and they say claim your bonus. You talking about the address to put in there? Um, exactly. That's your address. That's the address that should be in your back office. It should be on curgo.io. If you actually participating in this, then you actually did what we did. You actually have access to, where's that? Curgo.io. We actually had to buy, um, we had to buy a gold, a gram of gold, and then exchange it 
uh, you loaded yeah, it. Yeah, I did all that. You did all that? So you, you see my screen now? Yeah, I have my Ethereum and everything, but the address that ends in 198, I don't have that address. I'm, I'm, just trying to, one care of it. I'm trying to figure out what do you mean? You're talking about the first address? Where the contract address is, and underneath you have the Ethereum address that ends in 198. And the first part is zero FX. Nah. Well, you don't well, need that? I, I, I don't know what you're saying. You talking about my address? I, listen, no, you know, I'm talking about the address to send it to care bit. To send your one care, your one. You talking about the zero X five number? You talking about when you put in your address, right? You hit next. It ain't going to. And then this address you talking about? That's I can't um, see your screen, but it says Ethereum and it ends in 198. Are you yeah, looking at that, that? Yeah, but you you don't want to. That's your address. Well, that's the address for everybody. But that happens when right. you go through the process. You'll get that address when you go through the initial process of claiming your bonus. You first have to put in your address that your coin's been deposited on, and then you hit next. When you yeah, hit I already next. did that. Okay, so when right. you hit next. The address that you're looking for is going to show up. That makes sense? See, I already did that and clicked through that. I don't have that address. So when I go back okay, to my so, My Ether so wallet. Just do it again. Do it again. It ain't going to hurt nothing. It's gone. You can't get into it again once you. Yes, you can. Yes, you can. I just did it again. Yeah. I just did it on here. It, it'll show every time. It's, it, it doesn't show on mine. Now, it, I went you, back there. It didn't show. You went to home? Yes. And you saying claim your bonus disappeared? Yes. That's why I'm asking because it never showed back up. Okay. Log out. Log back in. And it shouldn't... The reason why it won't go away is because... Let's say I got more than one account. Let's say I got more than one Ethereum address that I got coins on. It just can't disappear after me using it one time. Matter of fact, I didn't claim this bonus on this site with all five of my Ethereum addresses. So, and it, every time it's going to show up, claim your bonus. I can put the wrong address in here and it'll show up. This, that, that's just, uh, I would say that's just a formality. The real, the real deal is you know, you seeing that one token missing off of your address in your back office. That's all they want to see. That's all they're going to go by. Listen, the blockchain can't lie. Can't right. do that, you know, so really, you know, if you didn't go, if, if it's not showing up, log out, log back in, maybe refresh the page, log out, log back in, but it's, it'll be there. And if not, okay. then wait a little bit. Yeah, it should show up. Okay, thank you. Help? Yeah, that helped. Thank you. Yeah, but um, yeah, I don't want to give you no address because if you type in the wrong thing, then you sent it to the wrong place. You know, yeah, that makes sense. Yes. Yeah. You're in the no. right place. <laughs> <laughs> Gwen, please mute your line. We can Next. hear you talking. Next. I can't. Next. Antoine Sistra. Oh, okay, hey, how y'all doing? Um, Steve, I got a question for you. Yeah. If I wanted to I uh answer for you, bro. Okay, good. I wanted to buy some uh some more KBC. But uh when I went to buy some, it actually uh I put in max and I couldn't purchase any. So I had to go to limit. I kind of get mixed up when I go to limit. Could you do a demonstration on buying KBC with the limit? I'm doing, like, it, right, I'm doing it right now. Okay, I think I had to uh, go down to the, to the buy order. Is that where I had to go? That's where I'm at now. You see my screen? Yes, sir. Follow me on the screen. I'm going to walk you through. I'm going to buy some. So limit, okay. limit is no price there but I can always go here and see the price. Or I can go here and see what 
they selling the price. One person is selling 4,000 coins for that price. But I see here what people are asking for. it. And so what I want to do, I want to do limit. And so what I want to, how, how am I going to do that? I'm going to say, I'm willing to pay three cents. I bought them for less. I sold them for three. I sold them for zero, three, two, five. Now I want to buy for three. I'm buying less again. I'm buying it for less again. And so watch this. How many do I want to buy? I want to buy 10,000. Right? That's going to cost me. You see what that's going to cost me? $290. Let's go one more. I'm going to buy 100,000. That's 2,400. I don't want to buy that much yet. Let me change this. Oh, man. Let's go. 10,000. I'm putting the order in for 10,000. But watch this, y'all. That order is placed. Guess what I'm going to do now? I'm going to turn around and put another order in. And I'm going to put this order in. And I'm going to buy 10,000. I'm going to buy that one. I'm going to wait for the processing. And that order went through. I'm going to put one more in just for the sake of me buying. This time, I want to buy $20,000. $495. Bam. I'm buying that. You see that? All my orders is going to show up right here. Here they go. Here go my order that I'm, I'm selling for $325. I only I have so that many I still got a partial in there. You see that? You see I have no KBCs right here right now. Watch when I change. I'm not going to change this order. I'm gonna leave this order in because I want to sell every one of them. I think it's going. Looking at the sticks. Yeah, yeah. We done went all the way up to three zero point three three. So man. Look at that. We right now in there too. So it's going back up. Because you know why? This is a support line. And this is considered right here a resistant line. So now that the, the, the crypto has dropped and a KBC dropped under the support line, now you see how it stays under that line? That line has now became a resistant line. But I see green. And I see green wicks. I see one long sell. And that was probably me. But I see wicks. I mean, I don't see no wicks. But here, that means that I don't see none here. That means I'm going to get another green buy. It's going to, it's the next one going to be a buy order and it's going to go green again. And I just needed to, to peak that resistant line. Because once it go over the resistance line, now it becomes a support line. It don't go under the support line. That makes sense? I hope y'all putting down what I'm pick, what, picking up when I'm putting down. All right. So I just placed that order. Now let me go and buy a market order because, brother, you said you want me to buy a market order. You see that? When I click market, that happens. Now, some of you guys might say, well, mine's not doing that. Refresh the page. Log out. Log back in. If it's still happening, contact support. Now I'm going to buy a thousand coins, right? For this price. Now these are going to show up instantly over here because why? There they go. Because somebody right here was selling it for that price. Look at the next sale price through zero point, the point zero three four eight. I need to raise mines. I need to sell these now. So look, I just bought it for three, two, three. Now watch this. I'm gonna sell it now for I'm 
that price. And I'm gonna sell 998. I'm selling it more than the price I'm paying for. It. So here it's a small order. I'm gonna make two dollars. Okay, that's cool. If I add another zero, I make twenty dollars. I add another zero, I make two hundred dollars. If I would have added another zero, I'll make two thousand dollars. I determine that. But I'm gonna make some money regardless. That's all that matters. I'm in the green. And so I paid 32 for that last thousand dollar order, but I'm gonna make 34. And all I did was took the night the thousand that I bought, and when I bought them and they said sell, and I just turned around and now I'm selling them. Now here go my order on the sale chart. Right here. Here go my order. That's my order. See, two people selling that many KBCs. I only have a thousand. Whoever doing the rest is on there. But my order is also here. See that? Well, I only have 998 because they charge me two coins. You see that? Y'all get that? That makes sense? It's good. Yes, huh? Talk to me. I said, talk. Thank you. Hello. Hello. Anita. Let me just hear me. Can you hear me? Yes, ma'am. Um, hi, Steve. Um, I wanted to know you said at some point we were supposed to have bought um coins off of the um current gold coin site i never did that step so will that have any burns on me claiming my um bonus when did you get started way back when you never got coins that way well at least i don't think i did i mean well if you did it before june the 15th Oh, you talking about those coins? Well, yeah, I did. I did that before June fifteenth. I thought it was another step in between something else. No, nah, that's it. Okay, well, yeah, I have those coins. I have those coins. Perfect, perfect. Okay, thank you so much. No problem. Uh, I have a question, Steve. So, where did your money that you just made? Where did it go when you sold the? Uh, on the it went side? here. It was here, and I just turned around. My U.S. dollar was here at first. And then I turned around and bought more KBC. So now my money is here. This is where it's sitting at. So these are all my buy orders. Because I'm buying limit orders, see the price I'm trying to buy it for? Them prices, this is the only price that I'm trying to sell one for. This is another one that I'm selling it for. But the only prices that people are selling coins for right now at the lowest is this price. One person selling 2,877 coins. I'm not gonna sell it for the price that I just bought it for. Remember I showed y'all the buy I bought, a thousand coins and it cost me $32 and then I turned around and put it right back on the market right here for $34 and some change. So I was just showing you guys a sample of what I, what I, how I'm trading, but my numbers are more larger because see, I was buying. So watch this. I'm buying from here. You know how much coins on hit bit BTC is? It's right here in Bitcoin. It's it's uh zero point one nine four. On curve bit, it's zero point zero. Three, two, three. You know what that mean? I'm making how much money? How much money is that? One. I'm making off of each coin. Yeah, I'm making I'm making a penny and a half, a little more than a penny and a half off of each transaction. The question is, if I do 200,000, 200,000, I 
I make three hundred. I make thirty-three dollars. I mean, I make three thousand dollars. Why wouldn't I do that? Let me see. Let me go back. Hold on. One, One six, ten. Yeah, I make three thousand two hundred dollars. If I do three thousand. I mean, if I do 2,000 co coins, listen, watch this. Let me get y'all the math. I buy off a hit BTC, KBC coin for let me oh man, so Real quick, who got a calculator on them? That's face that's looking at it. Who got a calculator with them right now? Can I get some help? Can somebody help Steve? Crypto Steve? One. You got one? You got mm -hmm. one? Yes. Who said they got one? Tanisha? Yes. Okay. So, Tanisha, look at this. Hit BTC. I want you to put this number in. 0 0.0187, right? Uh -huh. And then I want you to subtract it from 0 0.0323. Okay. What's your number? Zero. It's point zero one three six. Point zero one three six. Uh-huh. Point zero. All right. So I want you to type, I want you to times point zero one three six. I want you to times it by two hundred thousand. How much? Yeah, who said that? Because I put too many zeros in. I got twenty seven twenty. Twenty seven twenty. Two thousand. Seven hundred and twenty dollars. If I had bought two thousand coins on Hit BTC, transferred them to Current Bit Exchange, instantly I made that much money. And if I sell it, then I automatically gain that much profit. That makes sense. Two hundred thousand. Oh, for two hundred thousand coins. Now let's just make it a hundred thousand coins. 100,000 coins will get you half of 2720. So you just made um, 1,000, what's that? 370, 360, right? Yeah, 1360. 1360. So off 100,000 coins, I bought on Hit BTC for, now look what I paid for them on Hit BTC, right? times I paid about 1890 but I made is that right I paid 1890 for a hundred thousand coins yeah that's right because I just bought with I just spent six hundred dollars a little less than six hundred dollars on twenty nine thousand five hundred and thirty so once I moved that twenty nine thousand, well, they took five thirty from me, so now I only got twenty nine thousand. Let's just even it all. Twenty nine thousand that I bought for one eight zero one eight nine. I bought twenty nine. Okay. I might want to tell Andre that we can see her. Okay. So, all for those 29,000, I'm going to make $936. I'm going to make an extra subtract. I'm going to say 600. 
I'm gonna make three hundred thirty-six dollars off of off of six hundred dollars instantly. Now I see that. Is that making sense now? I just sold a hundred and seventy-six thousand coins for zero point zero three two five. I bought this for probably I think less than a penny on hit BTC, transferred them over here, and then sold them three times the money I paid for them. And I had that. So you know how much money I made? So I, I'm not bringing new money in. It, I just did, but at all the money I have in, uh, I'm using it and trading it. That makes sense? Y'all getting? Anybody see that? Yes, sir. Okay. Well, hey, I, I have to go. Any more questions you guys have? I have one question if I can, Steve. Um, I have multiple accounts that I need to be um, claiming the 35% for, mm -hmm. which I'm going to be doing between tonight and tomorrow. Mm -hmm. um, I was given the advice that because I have multiple accounts, it might be better to create a separate Ether wallet to draw the funds from. And I just want to... What do you mean? What, what kind I of... To create a different um, address and then to just um, take the the funds from that and, and just like create one um, Ethereum and just use that to add gas for all the different accounts instead of um, logging into each account separately. Nah, so, so look, watch this. You can buy Ethereum on one of your accounts and you can withdraw. Now watch this. I want y'all to look at this. Look how many wallets I got mm -hmm. in there. Look how many Ethereum addresses I got that I put gas on. You see that? Uh, mm -hmm. you, you don't need to do it. And, and so I know sometimes like the way that the cryptocurrency and the blockchain works, it's like unlimited. Like take, take limitations off of what you can do. The only thing you can't do, expose your number, your private key or your recovery seed, or your information where somebody hack you and get into your, your computer and steal your information, or even fish for your information to duplicate you. So watch this. Now, you're saying with the Ethereum you need on the multiple counts, right? Is that correct? Right. Okay. You can put each one in here back to back and withdraw however much Ethereum. I got 2.2287. Uh, I, I don't need that much. All I need is, well, they're not going to let you do that. They're going to, you got to do, I can put that on that address. And then I can go to the next address and put the next one on it. And I can put the next one. That makes sense? Okay, so when I log into each one of those dashboards on Carrot Bit, I should be able to see that amount deposited on those dashboards. So no, when I no, 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 this so, is one. This is one Carrot Bit, a uh, Carrot Bit exchange. I'm on. I'm on uh -huh. one of my accounts. Right. I, you take your Ethereum address that your coins got deposited on. If you got right. five different addresses, is that what you're saying? Yes. Okay, you can take each address and withdraw Ethereum out of one curd bit exchange. Okay. You can put okay. your Ethereum, you can buy Ethereum in one curd bit exchange. And each time you want to put something on a new address, all you do is go here and withdraw and say, please select the wallet, save new wallet. Do your other account. Do your second account. Do your third account. Do your fifth account. You understand what I'm saying? And, and you okay. determine how much Ethereum want to put on it. Now, watch this. The gas, the Ethereum is used as a gas, will de deposit on those individual addresses. And you can take them and go and use it. Now, you got private keys to each one, maybe. Right. I don't know if you guys seen my Trevor. I got one Trevor address, uh, private recovery seed, that give me access to hundreds of cryptocurrency addresses. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I, 
I don't want to confuse you though. But, no, I got. Uh, I understand because I have my MetaMask and I have like four accounts with one recovery seed under my MetaMask. I got that too. If you notice, when I open up early, I got my sons. I got a couple other people that I got in here, so I wanted to separate it so they won't say, "Well, you got my coin." No, I don't. That's yours. Look in your back office. You know, so you can send all of your stuff straight from your MetaMask too. So okay. to make that simple, but. I got the video I just put out, but okay. um, I hope that uh, helped anyone else. I, I'm going to have to go about one minute. In the chat okay. room. I have a question. Uh, yeah. what, uh, where, do we, where, where would you suggest we go to learn about the hit bit? I know that you all sent me a, um, a link earlier, but where, did, where would you suggest, Steve, that we go to learn about how to do back coins off hit bit? Well, I got the videos out there for you guys that I showed you guys. The link is here. If you already have one, cool. If you don't, you know, just follow the links. Matter of fact, um, a hit bit, you don't you don't get a referral fee and nobody else do, but on current on current I mean uh Coinbase, that actually if you use my link, you get ten dollars and I get ten dollars. So and I got it right here. Coinbase, hit BTC, the links. Um, you know, just how you know, how you want to trade. I got some videos up showing how, not in debt videos, but it depends on what you want to do. If you want to just go in there and buy the coins, uh, KBC, then, you know, I got a video showing you that. If you want to go in there and buy, trade, and sell, that's a whole other animal. I, I mean, you know, that's that's something that got to be done. Like, um, right, that's 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 a whole nother animal. Let me just put it like that. Okay. Anyone else? There's no more hands raised. Okay. Hey, well, I appreciate you guys. I hope I, I added value. Um, anything I can do to help, I'm most definitely willing to do it. And um, I appreciate you guys. And um, let's rock this thing out. Um, we got a little bit of time. We got we most definitely got the best company. We in the best space ever, which is crypto. We got the best ever, the best ever currency, which is gold. 24 current 999.9 London Bullion Market Association gold. And we have the most unique um, technology space that we're moving into, which is the blockchain, where we're coming up with the blockchain, uh, cell phone, and a whole bunch of other stuff that we're actually touching into. So um, anything else I can do to help you guys in the future? I will be doing more. It's Christmas time. I've been a little busy. Um, Again, I got a lot of different businesses that I manage, but I also have to build my own business as well. So I will most definitely give ample amount of time in future for um, running through some things and just going, just digging in some content and trying to give you guys some value and learning this whole stick thing um the candlesticks where like the young with a young lady that asked me earlier how did she go on in trade um i'm actually gonna blow that out for you guys okay hey again thank you crypto steve tanisha glassby i appreciate you um for sure anything else i can do to help you guys um look for me in the future okay all right thank you crypto steve thank you guys and thank you all right Peace.